Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you 10 Star Stable ideas because it's been quite a while since I did my own Star Stable ideas video. I know that a few weeks back I did a video on your Star Stable ideas, and I definitely want to make a part two on that too. So in the comments down below, leave me your ideas, and you might be featured in one of my future Star Stable ideas videos. But yeah, with that being said, I am really excited to just get straight into today's video because I've got so many awesome ideas like I've been brainstorming this for three days straight and I'm really happy with the ideas I came up with. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video and I hope you enjoy! I wanted to start off this video with two dressage related ideas and the first one is changing in lead. Now I know that the horses in Star Stable only have one lead and I am pretty sure that that is the left one. It could vary but at least my Andalusian's lead is always the left one and we all know that depending on which direction you're going into you have to ride in canter in a certain lead and because the horses in Star Stable only have one lead I think it would be great for them to implement lead changes. There are many keys on your keyboard that still do not do anything when you press them during canter. For example, shift could be used for a lead change and basically every single number as well as control or alt, Star Stable has a lot of options here. So instead of letting the animation team work on new horses all the time, let them work on some more dressage moves as well because the next one also has to do with a certain dressage move which actually is really important in dressage. Now since I am not an expert at animation, I'm afraid I cannot show you how that would look exactly, but I think you have a pretty clear view. Just look up lead changes on YouTube and you'll see how that actually works in real life. So yeah, go ahead and work on that Star Stable. I would really appreciate it and I'm sure that all of my dressage fans out there would really appreciate it as well. Sitting Trot is the next one I wanted to present to you guys. This one is, in my opinion, one of the most important features that we don't have in Star Stable yet. And I'm actually low-key surprised that we don't have it yet. Now I can actually edit this, so let's take a look at what that would look like in Star Stable. Now, like I just said, there are a lot of keys on your keyboard that are not in use, both in Canter and Trot, by the way. So I believe Star Stable has a lot of options when it comes to changing between Rising Trot and Sitting Trot. I would really love to see it. I think this would be really helpful for all of my dressage people out there. So yeah, that was my second idea. My third idea for today is home stable competitions. Now let me explain how that would work. Every month or every three weeks, a certain home stable in Star Stable, which there are 15, so a lot of variety here, would organize a competition varying from cross country to dressage. These competitions would have prizes like 20 star coins for first place, 1,000 Jorvik shillings for second place, and 500 for third place. These competitions would take all day long, so you could go there anytime on a certain date. The thing is, with these competitions, everybody would not compete at the same time. There would be stands around the riding arena as well, where you could go ahead and sit and watch. There would be a max of five people in the riding arena because otherwise it would get too crowded and you only have one chance, so you have to do your best, right? Right behind me, you see the Golden Leaf Stables' riding arena. Now let's pretend that Golden Leaf Stables is hosting a competition. All you would have to do to compete in the competition is go to one of the competition boards. I know that this is a racing board, but let's just pretend it's a competition board for now. Click on it, and then here you'll see the prizes. So 500 Jorvik shillings, 1000 Jorvik shillings, and 20 star coins. Right over here, you see compete in the competition, and then over here, you see scores so far. Then right here you would have some stands you could sit on and that is basically my third idea. I'm actually really excited about this and I really want Star Stable to, you know, make this a thing because 
it would just give us a reason, another reason to log on. Right now, we don't really have a lot of reasons to log on, or at least I don't, because I don't like training every day, and the championships, they're repetitive, and I just don't like doing the same championship over and over, and these ones could change up every year, maybe? Just to not give Star Stable too much work with this, because, you know, it is quite a lot of work to make new races, I know that. But yeah, that was my third idea, and I hope you like it. The next idea, which is not really my idea, more like the community's idea, is know your Vic Schilling limit. The limit on your Vic Schillings right now is 10,000, which I think is not a lot at all, especially if you compare it to the recent pricing on clothing and equipment. In case Star Stable doesn't see it as a good thing to take away the limit, they could make the limit like 20,000 or 30,000 because some people want to spare up, you know? And not everyone has the star coins to keep buying the new clothing and equipment. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here, you see my inventory, right? Now, if we open this one, you see that I have 22,941 Jorvik shillings. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I could buy like two new items with that, and with the 10,000 mark, you could only buy one. And there we go. That was my fourth idea, the no your Schilling limit. And like I said, it's not really my idea, but everyone, or at least a lot of people I've seen, want this to be reality, and I would love to see it as well. So that was it for number four. For my fifth idea, and I've seen this a lot on Instagram, is more body figures. I'll dismount for a second, and then you can take a look at my character's figure right now, which is basically skinny, and you know, the waist is nice, and all that, but this is not what reality looks like. And especially with the whole mental health talk, and everybody wanting to feel super confident in their body, but just not seeming to be able to, I feel like if Star Stable would add more thicker girls, or different shapes, because this one has hips, she has waist, and not everyone has that. The people who do not feel represented by our current characters would feel much more included in the game if they could choose something that looks similar to their body figure. And also, it gives you some personality, right? I myself am not the thinnest girl in the world. I have quite big thighs, and I like that about myself, don't get me wrong, but if you compare my thighs in real life to my SSO characters, it's just not the same. I also did this edit to show you what a little bit more of a thicker girl would look like, and you could go a little bit further, or you could like tone it down and make the shoulders a bit broader and make the waist a bit more straight and all that jazz. Just several different body figures. I would love to see that. The next idea I have is our own schedules. You know like in clubs you have a calendar for your club. What if you could have that for yourself as well? So for example, on Monday you could write down training Dragonfly. On Wednesday you could write down checking out the update plus training. On Saturday you could type in doing a few championships or something. Sunday you could say this is a free day, etc, etc. Especially for trainers, our own schedule and being able to plan stuff would be really helpful in my opinion. Let me show you where I believe the schedule should be. The schedule should be on this board over here that when you click on it, it'll say schedule down here. For the record, I have no idea how to edit in an extra button, so I'm not going to do it for this one, but I think you can imagine what I'm trying to say, right? And if you click on it, you would kind of get the same thing as with the clubs. So basically a schedule, but your own. And yeah, that is basically it for the schedule idea. The next idea I had is clipping your horse, which I know a lot of people have been requesting this too, but I do believe that it's possible for Star Stable to make this an actual feature. Right now on the screen, you can see some of my clipping projects in Photoshop CC because I don't really have my own horse, plus I cannot shave my own horse because I've never done it. So I did a few things on my computer and this is what I came up with. Now I know that it does not look the best, but at least you get a 
clearer view of what I mean by saying clipping your horse, right? The way it would be implemented into the game is that you could basically just go to your horse stylist and ask for a clip and you could choose like three different clips or something. It doesn't have to be major, just the option of clipping would be really nice. So yeah, that is my seventh idea for this video, clipping your horse. I really like this idea and I really hope Star Stable is going to implement it one day. I mean, let's cross our fingers, you guys, one day. Now my last idea for this video kind of adds to the previous one because if you're going to clip your horse, you're gonna have to have rugs on hand. Otherwise, your horse will become sick and obviously you don't want that because the vet bills, they're not cheap. Now I'm gonna take Smoke Boy out of his box because he's recently been shaved, at least let's pretend he is. And I'm gonna take him to the washing stall to rug him up. That's not even an actual verb, I believe, but you get what I mean, I'm gonna put a rug on him. Now let me put on his rug in Photoshop again and then I'll be right back with the end result. Now this is the the end result and this is not exactly what rugs would look like in Star Stable, but it gives you an idea, you know? This is actually a PNG, a transparent picture of an in real life rug. This is not an actual cartoony rug, like the game is a cartoony, of course. And since I'm not the greatest editor, like I've mentioned a million times in this video, I unfortunately do not have the talent to edit one on and make it in a cartoony style like Star Stable has. But anyway, I personally think Think that rugs could be so much fun for people who love to roleplay as well as the regular players because they're a new equipment item and I would love to see them in a million colors because you guys know for every outfit I have I would need a matching rug and honestly if Star Stable's ever gonna release rugs I cannot wait till I can see their take on it because I bet it'll be awesome and that was it you guys that was it for today's ideas video now i really loved making this video i really hope you did as well i love getting creative and even though like you probably noticed i'm not a genius at editing i still really love doing this now if you enjoyed it too then give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it in case you would like to see more videos of mine that is possible just go ahead and subscribe down below oh and also turn on notifications so you'll never miss out as well and with that being said i really hope i'll see you back on Wednesday with more Tinker Horses because that is what is coming. I hope I'll see you then. Bye guys!